at all. Today we have this. Uh, it's a buck boost converter. Uh, I was using it on some lights and it's suddenly gone short circuit. And I'm pretty sure it's one of two things. It either be regulator, which I doubt, or it's going to be rectification diodes on the back. Um, I highly suspect these. So let's dig in. These are quite a common point of failure on supplies like this. Uh, let's go to diode. And we got dead short across that one. 0.17. So it's actually reverse bias, dead short. And dead short. Um, rising, charging the cap. So I'm going to desolder that one, see if it still exists. That might be resistance across the coil, but that resistance seems very low to me. It seems very, very low. So let's have a look at ohms. One ohm, it could be a coil. I'll give it benefit of the doubt. Was it in this direction? One ohm, yeah. So let's remove that diode. Um, don't need the fan on just for that. Let's just hang on, turn that on. Hot air. Nice and hot. I do 450 for this. Because it's chunky. Um, Tweezers, tweezers. And it's off. Turn my fan on. Let's help that board cool down. Get in. Toasty. Let's see if we've still got the short there. Yeah, one ohm. So diode mode. Dead short. Yep, so I suspect rectifier diode. So I don't have an exact match for that. Um, have an exact match. Well I've got these, although they're a lot smaller, they're a similar spec, the forward voltage is slightly higher, so let's see if these work. So these are US3M. So it's a high speed um, diode and it can take, this one's rated at a thousand volts, repeated reverse bias. So it should be able to take a fair whack. Um, this one. Um, so will it fit? So it's pointing that way. So that one should go on there. So I will solder that one on. Now this begs the question: Do I change this one as well? Let's try that one first and see if it gets upset. Or if we release magic smoke, so uh, doink. So 
I pop flux on there, that's not going to solder. So right, yeah, I need the iron for this one. See, I'm going to sit up there. I'm now going to set up the fan now because she's going to get stinky. Let's turn that off. Actually, just for comparison here. On the new ones, so I'll just put this across here. Make to pause. Oops, wrong setting. Whoops. So this is reverse. Nothing. And the other way. 0.5. So the spec sheet actually says 1.5 for the forward voltage. Which I thought was a bit high, so 0 0.5. That was actually the same as the spec sheet on these. So it should be good. Um, yeah, I'll just set the fan up and we'll get going on this. This is a quick fix. Solder or temporary at 380. Um, let's go 390. I'm do this hot because this is a thick board. It's a big thick board. It's that way round. Right, fan is on. We're in pretty much up to temp. Uh, solder. Try and do this one without flux if I can. A bit less messy. Board is sucking up all the heat. No, we're not soldering. Uh, you're gonna have to use the flux. Ah, oh, dear mate. It's good. I didn't take the. Um, I didn't remove the lead free before I started. Back up to temp here. Yep. Still don't think we're joined on. There we go. Not my finest work. Let's put that in there, it'll cool down a bit quicker. I'll get power supply on. Um, this thing was running on 5 volts, so if I Five volts. Give it hundred milliamps to start with. Uh, 
that's cooled down a fair bit now that's, that's you can touch that so it's okay so in out gonna need a couple of bits of wire or screws or something um I'm lazy, I'm going to use this. I need a tiny flat blade. those springs back out. Oops, a daisy. No one. So, pause at the top. Right. My supply. Is it a creepy clip? Here. Neg on that one. On. Three point four two volts at one hundred milliamps. So something's pulling that down quite heavily. So we've got an output. Three point five five, so it's the same as in as out. Let's just go up. Hundred fifty milliamps. All right, we're now booted, so we needed more current for the bootstrap. So it's holding at point zero seven eight, so seventy eight milliamps. Three point five volts on the output and five volts on the input. So yeah, successful repair. So previously I had a phone charger attached to it and it's running some LEDs. Um, three and a half volts. And it was basically sucking two amps. And the LED here was very, very dim. Just dead short across it. So I would say, let's just have a quick feel for hot things. All good. I would say that is a successful repair. Oh, for the sake of I mean, how much of these? 10p? 10 pence? So 15, 20 cents US? Yeah, nice quick repair. These are about 5 quid. Or 7 or 8 dollars, I think, these Buck Boost George. So, yeah, nice economical repair. As per usual, if you like this one, like and subscribe. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers!